Jackson! What are we doing today? Driving to bed. Why? Yeah, Lily. Why are we going to bed? So Bob can get stuck on the machine for 80 minutes. That's correct. It's going on a lot of machine. How do you feel about this, Jess? It was not planned. We I called to make the appointment. They had today at four or several other days with eight o'clock in the morning. I asked Jesse because he's a driver. He's like, make it today at four. I'm like, okay. He forgot that we're supposed to be back in bed tomorrow at eight. I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do about that appointment later. It is a rainy afternoon. We're gonna pick us some lunch. That's gonna get gas at some point, and it'll be spectacular, right, Jess? He's not very convincing. So I didn't get a video of it, but I'll interject some pictures, either in a clip or over here, of a nice herd of elk leaping across Highway 20. How many do you think there were, Jess? About 30 of them. They were nice size. I did get some pictures, but no video because they're going down the road and Hudson says, whoa. And then the cars were stopped ahead and I was preparing for a crash. And then I saw a couple of elk leaping across the road and then more and more. And by the time they got to the other side of the road, um, I was out of time to film them. So, but you know what would come in handy is we had like a GoPro for our dashboard. And then we'd film anything that we'd come across. But we're not going to get one. But, um, the uh, trip over here has been uneventful. Roads cleared up, barely any rain. Did get a call from my doctor's office, a voicemail asking if I could come in earlier than 4, come in at 3.30 for a 3.15 check-in. And I consulted GPS and we'll get there at exactly 3.15. So I called and said we'll be there. Their um, place closes at 5. It is an 80 minute MRI, so that's probably why they asked me to come in earlier. Or they just had availability or something, I don't know. It's okay. Jesse has to talk to uh, a doctor virtual call. So he's going to hang out at Barnes and Noble with the kids, which they love. And then they tried to convince my dear husband to stop at a place or two. We're gonna grab dinner and then we're gonna head back and be back at the Oregon Coast by probably 10 o'clock today. We're supposed to come back tomorrow, tomorrow at 10 30 for an uh, eye appointment for the kids, but I think I'm just going to move it to a different day and then um, just get just a different day. Because that's a lot of back and forth driving. We could do it, but I think my kids might. Waiting, Jess. Gonna go back tomorrow morning. No, he's not a fan of driving back and forth. But last night his legs were twitching out. Um, so I, a lot of you guys know he's a, a WMPT, and so a lot of times his legs will like, muscle spasms. There you go, muscle spasms and phantom pain. And a lot of times I notice it, but he doesn't notice it at night. But last night is sitting there on the bed with the laptop. He's playing a video game on his computer and his leg was twitching so bad that <laughs> it was moving the computer weirdly on his lap. So, and he had a hard time sleeping because of that. And like I said, the plan was not to go today but to go tomorrow, but we'd rather go today and get back at 10 than to go tomorrow morning and leave at 3 a.m. Because we kind of like our sleep. <sighs> but it's all sunshiny over here, so the kids could go and play in a park today while Jesse's on phone call, or they'll go to Barnes & Noble. I don't know. I get to sit in a tube for 80 minutes. All right, kiddos. We're going to... Oh, we got it. Yes. Yeah, we are. Are you okay with that? Uh-huh. <laughs> I know. It's been forever in the day since we've been to the Olive Garden. Are you sure you don't want to go to Cracker Barrel? We've been to Cracker Barrel. I know, like two years, you're right. You can go to Cracker Barrel anyhow. 
That's true. Not we don't like this crack. This Cracker Bell here. We like the ones that are outside of Oregon. They cook better. They have better chefs. Oh, all right. I'm so excited. I'm more excited. I'm not sure if I'm excited about the breadsticks or the soup or all the stuff that's going to look like I'm six months pregnant because I'm going to swell up and bloat, but I don't care because it's going to be worth it. Right, Jess? All right, so it's now Thursday. Wednesday was a recovery day from a long, long, long drive. We got home like at one o'clock in the morning. We did some schoolwork this morning, but it's really nice. So I'm gonna drive down the coastline to go to Lincoln City to the outlets and check out this other bookstore. I'm trying to get all the kids' book um, school stuff. So I don't have to worry about it as we're trying to buy a house in Texas. Plus, I can never turn down a shopping trip to a bookstore. All right, I'll take you along.